in what looks like the government's olive branch to Mulayam Singh Yadav, Finance Minister P. Chidambaram shared the stage with UP Chief Minister and complimented him for governance. While patting him on his back, Chidambaram said the government is considering a host of proposals for Uttar Pradesh and he will invite Akhilesh to Delhi to finalise them. The Finance Minister said the government does not discriminate between states, a clear reference to more funds being given to Bihar, while Uttar Pradesh has been asking for the same, something that has been a sore point with the Samajwadi Party. The UPA too relies heavily on the support of the Samajwadi Party, even more after the DMK pulled out of the government recently. You have a young Chief Minister. He has started his tenure well. I think he has now understood the size of the problems of UP and I'm sure he and his team will do their best to bring UP up in every single way and I want to take this opportunity to assure the Chief Minister and his team as well as uh, the President of their party, Netaji, that the Government of India is committed to stand by Uttar Pradesh in the development of Uttar Pradesh. I know that UP has large financial needs. This morning, the Chief Minister and his officials uh, sat with me and went over a number of proposals. Uh, many of the proposals concern other ministries and departments, but I promise them that when I get back to Delhi, I will look into each of the proposals, call the officers concerned, and in about one or two weeks, we should be able to get an idea of where these proposals stand. Then I will invite the Chief Minister and the officials of the Government of UP to come and meet us in Delhi and sort out those proposals. Well, Mulayam Singh Yadav has said that polls are likely to take place in November. Mulayam Singh has also asked SP workers to prepare for snap polls. He's also said that the election could take place by November this year. That's much before the scheduled general elections for 2014. He's also said that the third front will come to power. On Holi, Mulayam Singh Yadav has also called the Congress a party of cheats. <laughs> ये पैसा किसका है? ये दिल्ली सरकार का पैसा नहीं। चुनाव को देखते हुए हमेशा कांग्रेस पार्टी एक बार काम कर देती है। पहले कर्जा थोड़ा थोड़ा भाव किया, प्रचार हो गया और बहुमत ले गए। इसी तरह से अब कुछ काम करेंगे ये। ये इतने चालाक हैं, इतने धोखेबाज हैं ये पार्टी के समय पर लोगों को ठगते हैं तो आप लोग वहां भी चले जाते हैं। Joining us for the story, or more on this story is my colleague Anand Zanane from Lucknow. Anand, uh, at a time when both the Samajwadi Party and the Congress are exchanging a bitter war of words, it seems that it's time now perhaps for the olive branch? <coughs> well, Ketki, this morning as soon as uh, the Finance Minister P. Chidambaram landed in Lucknow, he went straight to the Chief Minister's residence and uh, they had a bit of what we can call din uh, breakfast diplomacy and both sides, the Samajwadi Party and the Congress, swallowed a little bit of their pride and digested it to a certain extent, which is what was evident in this uh, event that we saw here. A little bit of backslapping happened and uh, a pat on the back for Akhilesh Yadav from uh, the Finance Minister for being somebody who's proved the fact that uh, he can govern a state no matter how young he is and how inexperienced he is. But clearly the Congress overlooking various other things like the bad law and order in situation in the state. And uh, uh, this was perhaps the time for the centre to do a certain amount of damage control with the Samajwadi Party, which is what we saw uh, when uh, the Finance Minister praised uh, Akhilesh Yadav and also fondly, uh, you know, mentioned uh, Mulayam Singh Yadav's name, called him Netaji and said that we will support the UP government as much as possible because we've been reporting the fact that uh, the centre is also trying to reach out to Bihar, to Nitish Kumar as uh, a potential ally in the future. So there had to be a certain amount of placating that needed to be done in Uttar Pradesh, which is what happened today. And uh, whether this is going to be sustainable in the long run, that remains to be seen. But uh, clearly, that uh, measure had to be put in place, which is uh, what uh, we 
saw today, uh, you know, at this event in Lucknow. And uh, clearly, the media was very disappointed because we were hoping that there would be some kind of a war of words or some barbs would be exchanged between the two leaders. But uh, perhaps uh, the breakfast that uh, preceded this event uh, uh, made sure that uh, that did not happen.